the southeastern edge of the North Carolina Piedmont lies the small town of Bladenboro. Incorporated in 1903, Bladenboro is a snapshot of small town America. In the 1950s, the community faced a unique threat, a series of strange animal attacks that struck fear and panic amongst the townspeople and left an enduring mystery in its wake. The goat was laying down like this, and the tip the end of his nose were, was bit off. He believed in the beast of Bladenboro, and it was not a mountain lion or coyotes or anything, but that it was a far larger predator. I know one fellow here, he's 94 years old, and he was right in the middle of all this, the hunting and all the uh, people coming from all over the country here to, to kill the beast. It was a scary time for Bladenboro. It terrorized everybody in Bladenboro, pretty much. I mean, it scared people. It was a panicked, fearful environment. I'll put it that way. Well, I don't believe in the supernatural too much, but it's something about this seemed to be supernatural. The goats and stuff, I mean, it's one thing to kill an animal, but not to suck the blood out of their animals. There are aspects to this legend that are somewhat troubling and, and puzzling at the same time. The primary one being the mysterious loss of blood that occurred during these attacks. And there are no known animals that will suck a corpse dry. They came convinced it was some type of vampire type animal coming up out of the swamp. I think it was a beast as big as you ever seen in your life. My grandfather was not scared of nothing. And he was scared of that. We don't know what happened to it, where it went, but we know it came. This is the tale of the beast of Bladenburg.